Hey everybody, Norm over here and I have my buddy Joe Chavira and Joe wrote a lot of tunes with uh, our old buddy and idol Trini Lopez. Trini is a, was a great guy and he passed away recently and uh, I had another friend of mine named Bob Wirtz who played with Trini quite a bit and uh, Joe had these shirts made up uh, Trudy Lopez, and on the back it says John Chavira. So on here, so he got a special deal on these yeah, shirts. Yeah, there you go. So you know, if if we put uh, Noonan's rare guitars, maybe we'll uh, we'll discount those shirts to you guys. So anyhow, tell us about this uh, this uh, tribute that you guys are doing in Las Vegas. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, this is, um, you wrote about 50 tunes with Trini, 50 right? songs with Trini. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Because Trini wasn't known really as a songwriter. He was known, no. you know, covering a lot of other tunes. Right. Like If I Had a Hammer and other things like that, you know. So, um, but you wrote a whole bunch with him. And tell us about Trini, how he was as a guy and all that. Well, uh, as everybody knows, he was a classic music legend. Uh, Sinatra discovered him. He signed a... Uh, seven year contract with the Pre's Records of the Rat Pack. I was fortunate, I met him in 2015, and we came like father and son, past business partners, songwriters. NBC named us the Songwriting Dream Team. We did 50 songs, three albums, a uh, reality TV show in nine months. And so we broke a record. And I'm really proud of this because you could see Trini with Frank and Dean, and here, this magazine went from Sinatra to Lopez to Joe Chavira, uh, bonding us all together, and it leads to this right here. I'm proud to announce uh, August 11th, on the day that Trini passed. It's very essential that people know that we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a tribute at the Rockstar Bar in Las Vegas, and you can get tickets on joechaviramusic.com or the Rockstar Bar. Um, these are the VIP tickets, and this is the guitar, one of Trini's, that uh, he designed, and it's just an honor to work with him because I was just a baby when he was with Sinatra. I'd seen him on uh, The Dirty Dozen with Charles Bronson and Marriage on the Rocks. and He was an actor besides being yeah. a musician as well. He was an actor, and to think that I'd grow up and meet this guy I saw on TV was incredible, much less right. 50 songs and three albums, and Trini thanks everybody, and especially Dave Grohl. Trini used to talk about him a lot. And Trini would tell me, from Sinatra to Alvis, the good, the bad, the people he loved, and he really liked Dave Grohl a lot. And uh, I noticed that Dave came in here once, didn't he? Yeah, well he loves the Trini Lopez, the thin body, the 335 type guitar. Um, yeah. And now it's called the Dave Grohl model. Right, I saw the, the little video with Dave and, uh, Norman here, and uh, so like I said, I'm carrying on the legacy, and Dave, if you want to do something together for Trini, let me know. You get a hold of me through Norm, and... Uh, so, and so this trilogy, there's what, three CDs in yeah. here? Yeah, it's a really neat package, and this I'm giving a gift to Norm. It's uh, one of Trini's highlights for the fact that in his whole career that he established, he's never did originals. Now, he told me, between Dean, Sammy, Frank, Alvis, that were all his friends, nobody, nobody goes on my album cover. No face. It's just me, Frank. But well, look what he did for me. He put me on every single CD together. Our Christmas, our rock, pop, jazz, blues one. Uh, he even did a Christian album because Alvis' his friend did the gospel. So Trini and Alvis are pretty good friends. So we did pop, rock, jazz, funk, Christmas albums, and uh, this so, is my guest. Norm. So this is happening in Vegas. So yeah. if anybody mentions John Shavira, they're gonna get a <laughs> discount on the, on the uh, tickets, or what's the deal? Yeah, from Norm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it, right back at me. It, Anyhow. It's Joe, but Joe, it was funny right. because this is a great uh, blooper thing because I gave him this gift uh, for me and Trinity, basically, and he and it says John, and I'm Joe. I swear. So there you go. Well, at. you never know. You know these printers. Sometimes they get some stuff wrong, like the name. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little crazy. But anyhow, Joe Shavira and wrote a whole bunch of tunes with Trini. We're going to honor Trini on August 11th Correct. in Vegas. And where is it? 
at the Rockstar Bar on the main strip next to the airport in Las Vegas. You could find it online, the Rockstar Bar, you know, Google it and you'll find it. And uh, again, it's an honor not only to work with Trini, but to meet Norm because I've heard a lot of great things about him. And I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, and, and also to the night of uh, the August 11th, they're going to have a Wall of Fame rock honoring that I induct Trini into in Las Vegas. And on the wall now is Freddie Mercury, Morrison, Prince, Michael Jackson, Elvis. So on that night, it's going to be a very special night, more than a music show. It's going to be an honor of a legend. I pull down this veil and bingo, there's Trini's face on a star honoring him along with the rest of the people. Trini was a great guy and we should all honor the people that, uh, you know, he had a model from Gibson named after him. He was right. uh, one of the early rock stars and uh, just a really good guy. So you guys be there or be square. August 11th, the Trini Lopez Memorial, the Trini and John Shavira, I mean John <laughs> Shavira special right here. You heard it first. It's Norm's an honor to work cars. with you, Neil. I mean, Thank Norm. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot. This is great being here and uh, I'm getting excited. 11 days and counting. Ding, ding. I'll All be right. on stage. There it is. Check it out. If I had a hammer. Thank you for watching. You got it. <laughs>